All right, all right. Here we go again. We're going to switch gears, and now we're going to work with the law of signs. So the law of signs, um, it's basically used to find missing angles and sides, just like the law of cosines, but now you have different patterns that it can be used for. So law of cosines was side, 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 and side, angle, side. Law of sines is angle, angle, side, angle, side, angle, or angle, side, side. Yes, it's going to be a pain in yours if it is angle, side, side. Okay, and we're going to spend a good amount of time just talking about that scenario. Okay, so the formula is the sine of an angle over its side is equal to the sine of another angle over its opposite side. And then, of course, the sine of another angle over its opposite side. Now, of course, A, B, and C, again, are just used to represent which angles. It could be X, Y, and Z. It could be M, N, and P. It doesn't matter. Okay, so... As far as this whole memorizing side, angle, side, 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 which one to use what, you actually don't have to memorize that anymore. The law of signs can only be done if you have the big and little flavor of whatever letter you're working with. So we have big B and little b. Or if you were to have big A and little a. Or if you had big C and little c. Remember, the little letters are opposite of the big ones. If you have a big B and little b, you can do the law of signs. If you do not have a big and a little of the same letter, you cannot use the law of signs, and you have to use the law of cosines. Okay, that's it. It's just plain and simple. So, this example right here. First thing we're going to do is we're going to set it up. So we're going to do the sine of b, which is sine of 28, over its opposite side, 26, is equal to and now we're going to have to find the side or angle that we have its opposite of. So we do have big C. So we're going to say that that's equal to the sine of 103 over little c. Once we have that, we just cross multiply. So cross multiply this way, and we got C times the sine of 28 is equal to, go this way, 26 times the sine of 103. But we are solving for C, so to get C by itself, we're just going to divide both sides by the sine of 28. So C is equal to 26 times sine of 103 divided by the sine of 28. And all you have to do is type that in the calculator and you are going to get C is equal to 54. Okay, so now you found that this piece is 54 units long. Um, so how are you going to find little a? We don't have big A. We don't have little a. So how are we going to do it? Actually, you had big A the entire time. Nothing to worry about. Remember, triangles will always add up to 180 degrees. So if you have 28 and if you have 103, that's already adding up to 131 degrees, which means you're just missing 49. So you actually had A the entire time. So to finish this up, we're just going to go back. I like to suggest that you use the original so the sine of 28 over 26, because if you were to accidentally get C, little c wrong, and you used little c to find A, you're going to get that wrong as well. Um, so I always say use the original, and this time we're going to say that this is equal to the sine of 49 over little a. And do the exact same thing. You're going to cross multiply, so you're going to get A, sine of 28 is equal to 26, sine of 49, Divide both sides by the sine of 28, and you are going to get A is equal to 41.8. Okay, and now you're done. So now all you have to do is fill in your final answers. We knew that A was 49 degrees, B was 28 degrees, C was 103 degrees, little a we have is 41.8, little b is 26, and little c is 54. All right, that's it. That's how you do the law of signs. Now, what we are going to do is instead of doing another simple example, we are going to go work with just the angle side side. It's called the ambiguous case. And the reason why is because an angle side side triangle could actually have 
multiple answers, or it can have no answer at all, or it can have your standard one answer. So we're going to do three in a row that have the angle side side format, and we're just going to solve. So I'm going to give you a big tip. The tip I'm going to give you is as soon as you see that you are using the angle side side pattern, I want you to instantaneously draw a second triangle just in case you need it. You might not. You might not need it at all. However, on a quiz or a test, if it's angle side side and you don't at least tell me that there's going to be the possibility of it, you will lose a point. Okay? So now what we're going to do is you start the problem out the exact same way. So we're going to start by doing the sine of 60 over its opposite side, 30, is equal to the sine of C over its opposite side, 20. And you're still going to cross multiply and try to find the first piece. So once we cross multiply, we're going to get 20 sine of 60 is equal to 30 sine C. So we're going to need to divide both sides by the 30 here. So that's going to give us sine C all by itself. Okay, so once you get the sine C all by itself and you type 20 times the sine of 60 in your calculator and then divide it by 30, you're going to get 17.32 something, something, something. And remember, whenever you are looking for an angle, you must use inverse trig. So you're just going to do second sign and you're going to get inverse and then you're just going to say second answer so you just use the previous answer with your calculator and then you're just going to okay divide by your 30 I'm sorry that's that that's going to give you your 0 0.5773 and second sign of that is going to give you angle C is equal to 35 degrees and 16 minutes after you change to degrees and minutes okay so now you've got your angle C but this is what you need to do. You need to find the supplement of angle C. So what you're going to do is you're going to do 180 degrees minus 35 degrees and 16 minutes. And you're going to put it in this other triangle and see if it's going to work. Okay, so all you have to do is type it in your calculator. And you're going to find out that this angle right here is going to be 144 degrees and 44 minutes. So that doesn't do anything for you just yet. You still have to think about whether or not it works in this second triangle. So as soon as you look at this, this is 60. So 60 plus 144 degrees and 44 minutes is 204 degrees and 44 minutes. You have already exhausted your 180 degrees. So 204.44, that's too big. So you do not have a second triangle. You only have one triangle in this situation. So now from here, all you are going to do is finish up the rest of the problem like a regular law of sines problem. So you're just going to subtract both of these angles to find the measure of angle A, which is going to be 180 minus 60 minus 35 degrees and 16 minutes is 84 degrees and 44 minutes. And then you just have to do the law of sines one more time to find your little A. So again, you go back to the original. You have the sine of 60 over 30 is equal to the sine of 84 degrees and 44 minutes over little a, cross multiply, divide by your 84 degrees, or multiply 30 times your eight sine of 84 degrees and 44 minutes, divide by the sine of 60, and little a is equal to 34.5. Little b, we already had is 30. Little c, we had is 20. Angle a, we know is 84 degrees and 44 minutes. Big B is 60, which was given, and Big C is 35 degrees and 16 minutes. And when you're done, there's a couple ways you can check to see if your answer is at least logical. And if you remember from geometry, the biggest angle is always opposite of the biggest side. So if little a is 34 
0.5, that's the biggest side. The shortest side is always opposite of the smallest angle, so you can see that that's true as well, and obviously that means the middle angle is opposite of the middle side. You can always check and see if your answers are logical. If one of those doesn't work, well, then you already have a problem, okay? So you can go back and fix it. That's how you do the law of sines with an angle side side pattern with one triangle and you still have to check to see if it will actually work. Next example. This one has no solution. You know how I can tell? From exactly the same thing I just talked to you about. The biggest angle, there's only one obtuse angle allowed in a triangle, so that means the biggest side has to be opposite of your obtuse angle at any time. So here's your obtuse angle, here's 12, and here's 15. There's no way this side can be 15 and have this be a smaller angle. So as soon as you see that, you know that this is not a triangle. Now what if it wasn't that simple? Well, as soon as you started doing it with your math, if you were to actually go through the steps and find it, you would get the sine of 160 over 12 and that would be equal to the sine of B over 15. You would do 15 times the sine of 160 divide by 12 and then you would do your second sine of whatever that decimal value is and you would get that angle B is 25 degrees and 19 minutes which doesn't sound like a problem until you subtract 25 degrees and 19 minutes and 160 from 180 to find out that angle A would have to be a negative measure and you cannot have negative angles inside of triangles so that's another way it would just happen to have no solution. So obviously that means this last one is going to be two triangles no matter what. So that's because I have to show it to you. You're going to draw A, B, and C. You're going to label your original information. And again, this is just going to start out like any other regular problem. Okay, so we already know that angle A is 70. We know that little a is 155. And we know that little c is 160 started out the exact same way. So what are you going to do? We're going to start with the sine of 70 over 155 is equal to the sine of C over 160. Cross multiply. So 160 times the sine of 70 divided by 155 is going to give you a decimal. Take the second sine of that and you are going to find out that angle C is going to be 75 degrees and 56 minutes. Now, just like I told you in the first example, what you do is you take that and you subtract it from 180 degrees and you put the supplement in angle C of your other triangle. So 180 minus 75 degrees and 56 minutes is going to give you 104 degrees and 4 minutes. Now, what's the difference between this example and the first example is the fact that 104 degrees and 4 minutes will fit in this triangle. 104 degrees and 4 minutes plus 70 is going to give you 174 degrees and 4 minutes. That means you have room for angle B to still have a measure. And his measure is going to be 5 degrees and 56 minutes. So... This is why you have two triangles, because in this one, all the way back in the original problem, you have 34 degrees and 4 minutes for angle B. So one problem starts out, and then you end up with having to solve two different equations. So from here, all you're going to do is you've got your other angle. You just need to find uh, the little b on this side, which is the sine of 70 over 155 again but that's going to be equal to the sine of 34 degrees and 4 minutes over your little b. You're going to find out that little b is equal to 92.4, and of course you already have your big b is 34 degrees and 4 minutes, 
and your big C is 75 degrees and 56 minutes. Do a little check to make sure that the opposite sides are going to be matching their corresponding like bigger or smaller and all that, and you're good to go on that one. Next thing you have to do is you have to do the law of sine one more time, but you have to do it on your second triangle. So you're still going to have the sine of 70 over 155, but now you're going to do the sine of 5 degrees and 56 minutes over your little b, cross multiply, and you're going to find that little b in this triangle is 17.1. So then you would just have to make sure you have all six pieces labeled or all six pieces in a little format like this so I know that you have found every single piece that you need to for both triangles. All right, that is the ambiguous case. You must check for that every time it has the angle side side pattern because if you don't and it was a double triangle, think about it, you're going to be missing out on half the material so that's like half the points taken off and you don't want to do that. Always look for angle side side. All right, this is Longo and I'm out. See you, bye.